You guys have probably seen my video, uh, I did, I think it was last year sometime, where I made a little buddy burner out of an Altoids tin. And basically all it is is just some cardboard inside there with some wax. Well, what we're going to do today is make an even more portable one out of this small Altoids tin. All right, this is a really, really, really simple project. It could cost you practically nothing. Um, most of the stuff that I'm even going to use, even to melt the wax for this thing, is going to be scavenged or just material I already had. Um, case in point, that's what we're melting the wax in. An empty can with a little holder on it. And we're going to melt the wax with an Esbit stove and a tablet. Real simple. So we're going to get started on this. The first thing you want to do is you want to take whatever you have in here out. Now you're going to be coating the bottom with cardboard, but not in the traditional way you may think. You're going to be rolling these things around the outside of your container. Like this. Okay? And if they overlap, you just keep rolling them around inside. And basically this is done, I just took a piece of an old Amazon box, and uh, I just cut thin little ribbon-like slices. You want to make sure it's not higher than the height of the actual... Uh, tin itself, because then it won't close, obviously. And you just want to stuff these in. You kind of want to make like a honeycomb out of it. That's the best way to describe it. And just keep packing them in. Make sure they stay upright, because you want the wax to get down inside the cells of the cardboard. So, there we go. What I mean is you want the wax to get inside these, these little cells. Let me see if I can, yeah inside there. So you want them standing upright. So I got a bunch of these cut. That's a little too thin. I need a thicker one. And then you're just going to melt the wax. And we'll come back when this is full and I'll have wax melting. And I'll show you just how simple it is to make one of these. Alright, so I got that nice and full. I'm holding this kind of up because you don't want the wax to burn. That's nice and packed full. And I just have an old candle in here. This was an old ugly green candle, I think from the 70s. I don't know where it came from. It just appeared one day. And I'm just letting it sit in there. You want to make sure you're doing this with the door open. I have my garage door open on the side because this really kind of stinks when you're doing it. And it was just one little Esbit tablet in there. Actually, it's a one of these tablets from an old... Uh, I think this was the French MRE I did a review on. Um, so... You've got some stuff in there now. What I'm going to do is start dumping it. Get the candle out of the way for a second. And start dumping it into my little uh, buddy burner. See how it sizzles up? Now you'll want more wax than that. But that's a good start. So again, just hold it up over the edge. And you can do this in a double boiler. I'm just doing this for um, expediency. It's a lot faster doing it this way. Um, I can just hold this over here and melt this stuff quick. You can do this in a double boiler the correct way. You can melt it in the microwave. You can buy wax specifically made for melting. But uh, for this, this is just a quick and dirty way to do it. So when I come back, we'll show you what it looks like all done, and we'll light it up and see right. how it works. So for the sake of time, what I did after I melted that stuff down, because it's only about five minutes later, is I just put this in my little fridge in the uh, garage out here, and it's nice and hard. And I thought of something. This is actually... Kind of a renewable Esbit tab burner. <laughs> but anyway, let's light this thing up and see. Basically, it's a candle. It's just a big candle. That's what the, uh, the, the cardboard is the wick. All right. I threw a match in there, too. Actually, I think a match probably works a little better. I had to heat up the wax. So, uh, you got yourself a little burner there. And yeah, it's small. And, you know, I mean, some people would say... How much smaller do you need to get than this? But this, you put in your pocket, you can actually feel it. That you can slip in a back pocket and forget you even have it. And it gives you a way to uh, have a little bit of a portable fire. Again, if you fold this thing up and stick it inside one of these Esbit stoves, it's kind of like a permanent Esbit cube. So it's a pretty handy little thing. And uh, they do take a while to catch on. Um, that's something I noticed. I used a match. It seemed to work better. Lighter really wasn't getting it. Um, probably because it was freezing cold from the freezer. But as you can see, it's starting to go now. So, basic candle wax, any kind of wax that's safe to burn, which is almost all of them. You could probably even do this with some uh, pine tar sap or anything like that. 
but it's just a really neat kind of small compact way of keeping fire with you at all times. I mean, if you had to, you could even take this thing and stick two rocks on either side and cook with it, you know, if you had to. So it's a pretty handy little device. And it's basically just a tiny buddy burner, kind of similar to a bigger one, and uh, real simple to make. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little idea. Again, <clears throat> it's neat to give you ideas on how to do things without spending a ton of money. And uh, something like this, you can stick in your bug out bag and you have fire. So uh, anyway, thanks for, thanks for joining us today, and we will talk to you soon.